A small workshop produces a maximum of 15 new chairs each day. And the growth, a rate of growth is proportional to the difference of the maximum number of chairs produced and the current level of production. Each day they start with zero chairs and it takes two hours to produce four chairs. How long does it take to produce 12 chairs? So we start with our general inhibited growth equation. Well, y is equal to capital P minus the quantity capital P minus y sub zero times e to the negative kt. And from our scenario, we pull out the following substitutions. Our initial value, y sub zero is zero. 15 is the maximum number of chairs they produce each day. We're given a subsequent, subsequent condition that when y is equal to four, when t is equal to two, and we're looking for what time will it take to produce 12 chairs. So t is unknown for the final step here. So making the appropriate substitutions, we have four is equal to 15 minus the quantity, 15 minus zero times e to the negative 2k. Again, I'm using this information right here that when t is equal to two, y is equal to four. Following our basic algebraic steps, we get 11 over 15 is equal to e to the negative 2k power. And my goal here is to solve for e to the negative k. Uh, solving that directly and finding some constant that equals e to the negative k will make our arithmetic a lot easier. Uh, all you need to do here is divide, uh, multiply both exponents by one half. Under, understood there's exponent one here. So we have 11 fifteenths raised to the one half power is equal to e to the negative k. So I replace e to the negative k with my new expression, 11 over 15 to the 1 half power. And this time, y is now 12. So notice the change. I made y is equal to 12. And we're looking for the uh, t when we produce 12 chairs. So what time t will we produce 12 chairs? So we do some basic algebra. To get to this step here, uh, 1 fifth is equal to 11 fifteenths. Uh, raised to the t over two power. And solving for t, when using our rule of logs, we end up with t is equal to two times the log with base 11 fifteenths of 0 0.2. Now, uh, since we have a log of 11 fifteenths and most of our calculators are defaulted to log base 10 or log base e, I'm going to use a rule of logs, uh, which we've seen before, that the log of any base b of x is equal to the log of another base a of x divided by the log base a of b. So I'm going to substitute and let x is equal to 2. I'm going to let b equal 11 fifteenths. And we'll let a equal 10 since most calculators have a default of base 10 for logs. So making our substitutions, we have uh, the log base 11 fifteenths of 0 0.2 is equal to log base 10 of 0 0.2 over log base 10 of 11 fifteenths is equal to 5.189. And don't forget, we are multiplying by 2. So when I multiply 5.189 by 2, we get 10.378. So our correct answer is D.